Hello everyone. Welcome to the course of antennas and propagation. In today's class, we are going to learn about uh, radiation patterns. Okay. So it is a basic uh, antenna parameters. So let's see what are these patterns and how they are evolved. Okay. So a radiation pattern in an antenna is defined as the mathematical function or a graphical representation of a radiation properties of the antennas as the function of space coordinates. Okay. So these patterns are considered in a mathematical function or in the form of a diagrammatic in the form of graphical representation. We are going to see how that is evolved. Okay. Which exhibits the radiation properties which are in the free space coordinates. Okay. So as the wave what we are radiating through the antennas are electromagnetic wave, it will be having an electric field as well as magnetic field. Okay. So here electric field is taken as theta comma phi and magnetic field uh, H is taken as theta comma phi. Okay. Electric field is E of theta comma phi and magnetic field is H of theta comma phi are considered where theta is the angle of propagation of the signal through the antenna or propagation of radiation through the antenna and phi is the phase of the uh, radiation in which phase it is moving. Okay. So these particular properties are majorly determined in the far field regions. Okay. The antennas which will be transmitting radiation for a far fields. Okay. Or dissipating the signals in a far off fields. Okay. So this is how uh, these properties are de determined. Okay. Now let's say the radiation properties coming to the radiation properties of an antenna. Okay. So the first one is radiation intensity is considered. The second one is field strength. Okay. So field strength depends on the now fields uh, which is uh, integrated in the signal. Okay. So as we are transmitting electromagnetic field, as I have already said, it will be having two fields. Electric field considered as E of theta comma phi. Magnetic field H considered uh, uh, determined as theta comma phi. H of theta comma phi. Okay. Third one is the directivity and fourth one is the polarization, etc. We are going to see all these terms in the future classes as well. And as the graphical radiation is plotted as a function of angular position or radial distance from the antenna. Okay. So graphically, uh, whatever the radiation is coming out through the antenna, it can be plotted as a function, it can be a, a kind of a formula or an angular position and radial distance from the antenna. Okay. So whatever the signal or the radiation is propagating through the antenna, that will be with respect to the angle. And also it is considered as the radius. Okay. How far it is distributed from the antenna that is also considered. Okay. So maximum or mostly radiation happens in the desired direction. Okay. So if at all you want to transmit a signal in a particular direction, we call it as an the antenna is radiating in a particular desired direction. Okay. So this is a diagram where the signal or, or the radiation is propagating through an antenna. Okay. I will show you what are these uh, diagrams actually. Okay. So coming to the radiation pattern lobes. Okay. So a radiation lobe is a portion of the radiation pattern bounded by regions of relatively weak radiation intensity. Okay. So uh, whenever an antenna is transmitting some sort of signal or it is radiating some sort of signal or the antenna is emitting radiation, whatever the signal is radiated into the free air space that will be demonstrated or uh, integrated or shown in the form of a lobes. Okay. So what are these lobes means? the bulging things what you see over here the balloon kind of structures are called as lobes okay where lobes are nothing but the radiated signal or the antenna radiation okay or the signal which is propagated into several direction uh, from which uh, to which direction the signal is mostly propagated there there will be a major lobe Okay. If the signal is propagated very, very less in several direction, that will be indicated in a small lobes. Okay. So how these slopes are indicated, let me show right now. Okay. So these lobes are differentiated into major lobes, 
minor lobes minor lobes are also called as side lobes okay and back lobes okay so major lobes are nothing but called as the main beams so as i have already said whenever an antenna transmit most of its signal in a particular direction that will be denoted by the major lobe okay so if you see the diagram over here as there is a huge lobe in this particular direction this particular lobe is considered as the major radiated signal through the antenna in this particular direction now let us say this is an axis i am drawing over here let us say this is x axis and this is let us say this is y axis and this is z axis now let us say okay now can we assume in which direction the signal is propagated more through an antenna okay so in uh, if you see the diagram the major lobe is in the which axis y axis right so we can say that the signal is propagated or more signal is radiated in the y direction compared to x direction as well as z direction okay if you see over here there are small lobes okay at the x direction okay so these small lobes can be considered as uh, minor lobes or side lobes okay so if you see there is a small lobe at the bottom which is opposite to the direction of the major lobe okay so whatever the lobe is in the opposite direction of the major lobe that will be called as the back lobe okay these are the major lobes how to represent the radiation from which it is so as there is major lobe is nothing but the most of the signal is propagated in that direction that's why it is called as main beam okay i will be explaining it in much clear in words c major lobe major lobe is nothing but as i have already said it is a main beam through which the antenna is propagating the particular signal okay now it is defined as the radiation lobe containing the direction of the maximum radiation okay from through which direction the signal has been mostly propagated that is the maximum radiation direction of the maximum radiation that is the major lobe okay coming to the minor, uh, minor lobes okay those are nothing but the side lobe adjacent to the main lobes that is the radiation is distributed in the side lobes as i have already said these things these ones all these are called as side lobes okay which are this, uh, some small part of the radiations are project uh, propagated into sideways directions okay these are the uh, minor lobes okay so generally whenever you expect the signal to, uh, to radiate in a particular direction we don't expect a signal to travel in a side direction right so side lobes are nothing but it is if at all there are unwanted side lobes the power is getting wasted we can assume that the power is getting wasted so side lobe should be always minimized that means through which direction we expect the radiation to happen in that direction only the signal need to propagate okay so side lobes are nothing but some sort of leaks or some sort of releases or some sort of wastage power wastage with respect to the signal okay so they should be always minimized okay now back lobes as i've already said it is the radiation lobe in a direction oppo opposite to that of a major lobe okay so this is the major lobe right okay opposite to this there is a small lobe this one so opposite to the major lobe whatever the lobe is there that is called as back lobe this is also unwanted okay so these are the lobes how in which they are representing the signal radiation with respect to the graphical uh, uh, radiation the best example of uh, minor lobes is uh, radars okay so a radio detection in regime you expect the radar to emit the signal only in a particular direction whenever such particular ob object enters into that particular area through which the signal is propagating there will be some sort of echoes from which the object is entering okay so based on the echoes it will estimate 
whether that particular object is traveling towards which direction with what speed or velocity it is traveling everything can be calculated right so if at all there are minor lobes like some part of energy is losing in several directions instead of going in a proper or desired direction okay so the radar may not give the accurate reading so side lobes are very very uh, uh, need to be concentrated and they should be minimized okay and the whatever the opposite of the major lobe is considered as the back lobe okay now we have types of patterns over here one is field pattern and another one is power pattern okay so i have taken a basic diagram okay to in order to explain what is the field pattern as well as the power pattern okay now let's see what is a field pattern okay so a trace or plot of the received electric or magnetic field at a constant radius okay can be considered as the field pattern okay if you see the diagram over here so this is a y axis and this is the z axis and this is the x axis are considered through which the antenna is radiating some sort of signal now according to this lobe can you estimate the where is the maximum lobe or the major lobe in which direction in z direction there is a major lobe now how we can estimate a field pattern means it is a trace or the plot we need to draw an imaginary trace or a plot based on the major lobe okay now what is the major lobe bound is this one right so based on that draw an imaginary line like this you are just tracing based on the radiation of the major lobe okay with respect to the tree direction so now you have got an field or an area in which the uh, electromagnetic fields okay might be propagated okay so this is how to consider a field pattern okay so it is generally plotted on a logarithmic scale okay simple concept coming to the power pattern second one second type a graph or a plot in terms of power per unit area okay so uh, we we have just now learned how to trace the field right field pattern right in that uh, uh, how much power per unit area has been uh, considered okay that is considered as the power pattern okay so what is the signal we are propagating we are just propagating electromagnetic waves okay so in this electromagnetic wave we have electric field as well as magnetic field okay but with respect to the power pattern the power pattern is represented as the square of okay uh, field pattern okay so there is small mistake over here this is not fuel square of field pattern okay so what is the field pattern electric wave as well as uh, magnetic field electric field as well as magnetic field so square of the uh, field pattern can be taken as uh, modulus of e square or h square okay that is e square or h square is considered as the power pattern with respect to the antenna patterns